Hey guys, Edward from CuttingEdgeLinux.com here. I had someone in the Manjaro IRC that wanted to know, actually I've had a couple people ask, how to install Manjaro with BTRFS using the testing command line installer. So I'm going to show you how I got it installed. Some of the stuff didn't work, like the subvolume stuff, so it's just going to be basic partition layout. Nothing fancy. But this will give you a good clue as to how to do it. Now, I did my partitioning in Gparted. Create the partition table if you are not using, or if you are using a new hard drive. Swap. Create your BTRFS partition. And they wanted to use compression. So I'm going to gear this towards compression. If you don't want compression, just say no at that step. Okay, so there's your partitioning. Done. In this specific version, it does not have a desktop icon to the command line installer so you have to go sudo setup and it takes a couple seconds to load up but it'll load shortly there we go testing installer Disk preparation, since I've already created them, I can just set the file system mount points. Now, this will force you to label it if you're overwriting the existing data and formatting. I'm going to say no because I've already created it and it's a fresh partition anyways. Next is your root. Select BTRFS, say no again, or it'll force you to label it, and I don't feel like labeling it right now. No to subvolumes, every time I've said yes to subvolumes, it has failed. So I don't think that portion of it works in the testing installer right now. But saying no here, and then yes to compression choose what compression algorithm you want. I picked LZO and when I did this on my machine I said yes for SSD because I had SSD but this is in a virtual environment I'm just gonna say no. <clears throat> so there we go it's successfully mounted. Install the system Unsquashing both the archives there. Now I've skipped the majority of the loading bars for you. Uh, it takes a little longer to install to a compressed hard drive file system like BTRFS because it has to compress all the data. There you go, installation succeeded. Now it's going to configure the devices for the system. This takes a, a minute or so to do so.
installing the video drivers. Now if you wanted multiple partitions like a home partition as well, you would just create multiple BTRFS partitions and do it that way instead of using the sub volume system. Now an important step here is to modify your make init CPIO and add in BTRFS. It's really the only thing you need to change there. unless you wanted additional options. <clears throat> and then install your bootloader. I'm using a BIOS system, so I'm just going to select BIOS. And there we go. Installation finished. How nice. Now you're going to want to reboot into the system. Ooh. Yeah, this happened to me before. And I rebuilt my making it uh, CPIO and rebuilt that and it had worked for me. Um, on my machine, my install of it, I used a separate ext4 partition for the boot and that worked nicely. Now it runs a little slow on a virtual machine. Uh, let's try a kernel update. Okay, so I'm just going to update the system, upgrade the kernel, and see if we're running a little better there with that boot message that showed up. I'm just going to pause it while these updates go through. And the downloads are done. It's just going to install them here. It took a little while to download all of them. Initial updates on an older software CD sometimes take a while. I'm using a Manjaro 0.8.6 ISO since this ISO comes with a 3 0.9 kernel and the 0.8.7 ISOs come with a 3.4 kernel which does not support the compression in BTRFS. So you can't do this with the newest ISO. If you wanted to do that I would suggest using Manjaro ISO and spinning your own ISO with an appropriate kernel based upon the changes that have been made to those particular versions.
and the important thing to note here is that when the kernel upgrades it makes the CP in its IO uh, RAM disk, the init RAM, with the BTRFS changes that have happened. And I'm just going to pause this so you don't have to watch all that go through and I'll scroll up at the end so you can see what I'm talking about. Now another thing to note is that if you wanted to make your own home drive you would just make a secondary BTRFS partition or ext4 partition or whatever type of partition you wanted and you wouldn't use the sub volumes you have to create the sub volumes afterwards and I'm not too sure how they work so I'm not putting them in here right now I used this particular setup I didn't use the sub volumes because it overcomplicates things and that can all be learned and modified later and here we're at the kernel right after this it is going to run the makenet cpio and you can see the btrfs is in there And I'm going to try it with this kernel and see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to upgrade to the 310 kernel line and see if that gets rid of that error message. See if this is particular to this kernel line that is causing that error message. Okay, so the upgrade is done. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the system and see if we still get that boot error message that happened upon first boot and we do so let's see if we can fix that here without upgrading the kernel So you want to cd into the etc directory and then modify the make init cpio.conf file and I am going to take out btrfs here and add it before auto detect since I know it is required and I forget what the argument needed is that is not it Ah, P preset. That is what it is. So we're going to do the Linux 3.9. Needs to be run as root. And there we go. Let's see if that one works. it does not so I'm gonna upgrade the, to the 310 kernel line and I believe that will fix the issue because I've had a machine running on this with the 310 kernel line that did not have that issue
So I'm going to pause it while it downloads the kernel because this is going to take a minute. And there we go, the kernel is updated there. You can see that it does have the BTRFS in there. And I'm going to reboot into that kernel to see if that fixes that issue. And it did not. So I'm going to have to look up some information and make another video at a later time on how to fix that particular issue. Uh, thanks for viewing the video. Have a good day. Bye.